Defend Odessa. We have been assigned to defend against the enemy's main forces. In other words, Rebels' own unit. We will put up a defense line so that other enemy troops cannot move on the flank of our own main troops. I'll give you a briefing on our current situation. According to our intelligence, the enemy has deployed mobile artillery in several key locations as a means to contain our activities. In conjunction, they have stationed their assault troops, which are ready to break through our defense line. It might be easier to slip past the mobile artillery to crush Big Trey, but we can't leave the enemy behind us. We'd be risking attacks from the rear. Therefore, our first task will be to destroy the mobile artillery. Use extreme caution, as these enemy weapons were specifically designed to be long range. To facilitate our operation, we will have to make effective use of our support attacks. Once we wipe out the mobile artillery, head directly to Big Tray and destroy it. That should stop the other enemy troops from breaking through our defense line, at least for the time being. Lieutenant Renchev and Chief Petty Officer Manning will join us for this mission. Over. Alright, attack instructions. The enemy has mobile artillery and gun tanks. Colonel assaults on these long-range enemies is suicide. Destroy gun tank before advancing. Approach and destroy the enemy from the rear. Undetected battle codes and all team commands are the key. I need everybody to advance. Black Tri Stars. Black Tri Stars, a team of seasoned veterans, Gaia, Ortega, and Mash, that pilot their new model DOMs. Famous for their victories in the Loot Campaign. Artillery, mobile artillery, these long range attack vehicles come from behind the center hill to attack our forces. It is difficult to get in close. Big Trey. Federage's large scale land based battleship. It serves as the enemy command vehicle on the front lines. If you can destroy the Big Trey, the enemy forces will be thrown into a state of disarray and confusion. Hover truck. Federation vehicle, the sonar loaded on this vehicle is set to outclass the sensor units we use. Job Day. This is our large-scale land-based battleship. It has been assigned to the same defense line that we protect. CPO Manning. Chief Petty Officer Manning. Born on side 3, age 35. An expert at sniper fire, he is skilled in recon and attack. He and Lieutenant Renchef are the only survivors of the Gobi campaign. Lieutenant Renchef, born on side 3, age 29. He's a skilled and smart soldier, but he's a bit on the aggressive side. destroy the mobile artillery, we should take advantage of our support attack. Smoke grenades will blind their gunners momentarily so they'll stop firing. We should figure out how to combine these two methods effectively to produce an extraordinarily powerful attack. The attack team will defend the right wing, and the standby team will protect command headquarters. Don't you find this a bit strange though? Shouldn't we be assigned to the left wing where our defense is weaker rather than to the center? Don't ask me. I have no idea what Command Headquarters is thinking. We just have to do what we're told. Right, Master Chief? Ha <laughs> ha! You got me there, Lieutenant. Now, let's get started with this job of ours. Oh man. Our unit's growing bigger by the day. We can finally form a standby team and an attack team. Even the standby team will be moving out in the Odessa operation. You're right. This is an all-out attack on the Federation. We can't afford to lose this battle. I hear that Lieutenant Mash lost his life in battle. Now I'm really curious to know who the Gundam pilot is. He defeated both Lieutenant Ramba Rao and Lieutenant Mash. By the way, about Lieutenant Renchef and Chief Petty Officer Manning, 
I heard that the units they belonged to in the Gobi Desert had been wiped out. Those guys must be really skilled pilots to survive that kind of intense battle. It might be nothing, but there's something about those two. I can't put my finger on it, but I got a strange vibe. I see that Odessa is also having a problem with supplies. It looks like we're better off than other places, but thanks to the commander, we have enough mobile suits to last us. I'm just worried about later on. For this mission, I understand that the standby team guards the command headquarters and the attack team heads to the front line. Of course, I'm with the attack team, right? I don't want to be the operator. I'll do my best. I am Chief Petty Officer Manning. It's a pleasure to meet you all. We lost a few soldiers in the Gobi battle. The only surviving members of my unit are Lieutenant Renchev and myself. Well, we'll be okay. Please include us in your attack team. We'll do our best. I'm Lieutenant Renchev. Nice to meet you. Right now, we've set up our team. Tank. Let's get the second one. Enemy located. Enemy located. Thank you. 
of sales now. Where's the one? destroyed enemy command plane taken out without their communication system enemy troops are in complete disarray commander lieutenant uragan is on the line for you i'm lieutenant uragan orders from captain makuve the fenrir unit will be relocated to k7 point impossible if we abandon this area the enemy will break through the defense line doesn't matter this order takes priority please hurry roger we're heading to K7 point at once. We're relying on you. All units, we are now heading to K7 point. The Black Tri-Stars would never return to the front line. Xeon lost its share of ace pilots again. As the terrible battle raged on, we were given a new assignment. Our mission was to guard Captain Makuve's Zanzibar until takeoff. With Captain Makuve in command, Zanzibar would leave the war-torn Odessa and head into space. Federation forces launched an all-out attack and breached our defense line in several areas. This misfortune was unavoidable, given the loss of our communication system compounded by our inability to regroup. 
Even so, each and every soldier had given their best on the battlefield. At this stage, though, we were unable to stop the Federation forces. Our troops commenced their retreat from Odessa. The commander of each unit was attempting to carry out the difficult task of withdrawing while keeping disorder to a minimum. We too were on our way to the rendezvous point, 